I know my hair look a mess, but we just want to ignore that right now because I ain't doing it today. Okay. y'all it's your girl mo of all things mo l welcome back to my channel so as you can tell by the title today i am going to be sharing with you guys my black friday slash cyber monday haul so if you are interested in feeding into your product junkie and me then just keep on watching but before we get into it please take a moment go down below hit that subscribe button just go ahead and join the fam because we would love to have you while you are at it hit that notification bell so that you will not miss when i post new uploads all right so black friday slash cyber monday now there were only a few brands that i actually intended to purchase from because y'all i have so many products in my stash i have doubles in my stash like honestly i didn't need any more products at all but um some new things dropped that i was very interested in getting and then there was um a couple of brands that i had never tried before that i was interested in trying out so i did purchase some items from those brands the first brand that I'm going to talk about is a brand that I've never used before and that brand is Tailored Beauty. So I did pick up four products during their Black Friday sale. I picked up their moisturizing coconut cream shampoo. It is sulfate free and it's supposed to moisturize and clarify without leaving hair dry, brittle, or stripped. So if you have ever watched any videos on my channel, you know that um, I can't stand a stripping shampoo unless I have the intention of clarifying my hair. So I am interested to see how this holds up. I really wanted to get the matching conditioner to go with this, but they were sold out. So I did not pick up the conditioner, but I did pick up the their moisturizing mist that's supposed to refresh and strengthen dry hair so it says to spritz on dry hair before adding styling products um, or you can refresh and spritz until hair reaches desired amount of moisture it could be used as the liquid in the LOC method and it says it's best used with Taylor Beauty's everything butter and grow thick oil now I did not pick up the oil but I did pick up the everything butter I have heard so 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 many good things about this this and I just never got it until now so I am super excited to try this I'm very intrigued by this product because you can use it on your hair and on your skin and it even helps to reduce the appearance of scars and prevent stretch marks I don't know if I'll use it on my skin maybe I mean I do have like some discoloration and some dark marks that I could use it on but I kind of just want to use it in my hair because I love hair products so um i'm very excited to try this out and then the last product that i purchased from tailored beauty was their perfect coils curling jelly for lustrous ultra defined healthy curls now y'all know how i feel about getting jellies and gels from natural hair brands like normally i just like to stick to my eco stick to my wet line extreme for my wash and goes but i had a lot of people actually recommend this to me when months and months ago i posted on my instagram stories that i was interested in trying this brand out and i asked for product recommendations so i actually these two products right here were probably the um two products that were most recommended so i had to go ahead and pick these up don't know if i will use this for a wash and go or use it for some kind of set but i do plan on doing a video on all of these products to give you guys my first impression so stay tuned for that all right the next brand that i ordered from was honey's handmade i have really been liking their products lately especially their co-washes and their deep conditioner so i was browsing the website during black friday slash cyber monday and um i picked out some products that either intrigued me or had been recommended by other people so the first product that i picked up was one that has been recommended over and over again and that is the bentonite and sea clay deep conditioning mask i actually thought that i had purchased this before but when i looked at my honey's handmade collection it wasn't in there so i went ahead and picked this one up and then I also picked up, this one is actually a new product. This is their Chibi and Almond Milk Cocoa 
growth enriched hair mask so um chibi is supposed to be really good for hair growth um i just was super intrigued by this so i did go ahead and pick this up because who don't want a product that's gonna make the hair grow girl okay all right um <laughs> the next thing that i picked up actually i picked up two products that are a part of the same collection and that is their peach ginger and quinoa protein collection so i got the hair mask from that collection as well as the curl smoothie so this will be more of a styler but i did pick both of these up and then the last product that I picked up from Honey's Handmade was one that I've heard and heard and heard about. A lot of people have raved about this product and that is their Not Going Bananas Detangling Conditioner. So I'm super excited to try these. I also have a couple other Honey's Handmade products that I purchased back in November or October. I can't remember, but it was from their um, cranberry and pineapple collection. I got the shampoo and I got the mask. Haven't used either of those yet, um, so be on the lookout for a Honey's Handmade video coming soon because I got a lot of products to try from them, so that's that. Um, the third brand that I decided to order from for... Actually, I didn't order during Black Friday. I actually ordered a little bit before that because they did have a sale and I believe it was a 40% off sale for their um, clay wash. And so everybody has been telling me that I needed to try this. My girl, NJ Everhart, she raves about this um, clay wash and that is from Chocolate kinks and curls and this is their red clay and hibiscus clay wash it's supposed to detox boost elasticity and help to retain length i am so excited to try this i really do like clay washes when i use them i don't use them that often but they are something that i want to incorporate more into my natural hair routine so i had to go ahead and pick this one up and i am most definitely doing a video on this so stay tuned for that the last hair care brand that i ordered from should not be a surprise to any of you guys who have ever watched my channel because i love this brand so much unfortunately shipping always takes forever and a day so i do not actually have the products here with me because they have not arrived but i wanted to hurry up and go ahead and get this video out because i want to start using some of these products and anybody got time to be waiting so i'm sure that you all have guessed the brand that i am referring to is soltanicals now they did drop three new products for their black friday and cyber monday sales i got my hands on two of them because i just didn't want the third one and i'll just maybe put a picture up here or up here somewhere just so that you guys can see what they look like but um the first product that i purchased was their new co-wash and it is called the hair to the rescue afrovedic not goo ambunu ambunu what rasul clay co-wash y'all these names are getting a little bit out of hand <laughs> they're so long but that is the clay co-wash that i picked up and um i figured that this would be a good cleanser because soul tentacles know they know how to do some butter shampoo so if this is anything like their butter shampoos i already know that i'm going to love it so i had to pick that one up the second new product that I picked up from their Black Friday launch was the Super Fro Ambunu Hair Grow Scalp Defense Hair Intensive Mask. Again, I was super interested in the ingredients and also if you've watched my other Sultanicals videos, you know that I love, 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 love love their masks like they are unmatched when it comes to their deep conditioners i just love them so much so i knew that this one would be you know different so i just had to get it so i purchased those two items and then i purchased an item that wasn't new but i had just never tried it before it's actually a styler it's their twist assist supernatural twisting cream and one of my followers slash subscribers actually recommended it to me her name is misty blue 1922 on instagram and i believe her first name is julie so shout out to julie because she really be looking out when it comes to recommending products for me to try she's always commenting on my videos and stuff and i just really appreciate you girl so shout out to you but she recommended that twisting cream to me so i decided to go ahead and pick it up during their cyber monday sale so i got that product and then another product that i got that i had actually used before but i had never ordered it directly from the website is their afrotastic curl elastic which a lot of you rave about and a lot of you commented on my battle of the deep conditioners or battle of soul tentacles deep conditioners video saying that that one was your favorite 
I, my verdict was out on that one only because the container that I had purchased and that I had tried was a part of the bad batch that some kind of way made its way to Sally Beauty stores and it was super runny apparently. It wasn't the same consistency as um, you know other batches or the original batch or whatever so I don't think that I was able to give that product a fair assessment so I still have it in my collection but I just never used it after that I decided to go ahead and order directly from Sultanicals website so that I could get a good batch and be able to give a fair assessment and a fair review of the product so I did order one of those the last two products that I ordered were also restocks for my collection it was the chibi ginger deep conditioner which I also have a video on I have two videos on that one actually and the Manoi moisture slip deep conditioning fertilizing dip another one of those long names <laughs> but I also ordered another one of those because that is probably one of my favorite like I, I love all the deep conditioners but that one is probably I would say top four it's just so good so I had to restock on that one so yeah guys not really many products um well to me it's not many because I know some people be going ham for Black Friday but I just didn't need to do that because I already don't have enough room for products as it is and I just didn't need to be adding more to my stash before I use up some of what I already have. So that is it for my Black Friday Cyber Monday haul. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys got in your hauls this year because I know y'all is out there shopping or on the interweb shopping. So let me know what you guys picked up. Let me know from the things that I talked about today what you're most excited about seeing. Drop those in the comments below, okay? So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, Give me a big old thumbs up because those really do help me out a lot and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.